Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ness, and in today's video, we're building an elegant walk-in closet using some of the new items and partitions and pillars. This is also a small how-to guide in using those items, so I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do like content like this, please give this video a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the video! So we're starting this build by using the gold iron parquet flooring and then we're going to complement that with the black hallway wall and the black European style wall. I actually used the black hallway wall and accented the room with the black European style wall. I figured that this would bring a little bit of light into the space and also it's just really pretty so I really wanted to use it. And I'm going to go ahead and add some partition walls so there aren't that many windows because it is a walk-in closet after all and I didn't want it to be a room full of windows. And I'm also going to be using the black marble pillars. I think that they are so pretty and they look really good in a lot of different spaces, especially ones that are more elegant and more, I guess, like you can say like high class or modern. Um, I don't know if that's really accurate though. However, I did end up using them in between the partition walls sort of to serve as columns in between them and I think that it really added a little bit of character and it also made the room a little bit smaller since even though walk-in closets can be really big, I didn't want this one to be super huge. So that's how I used it to minimize the space a little bit. So the way that I decorate my rooms is I work from outside in. So in the beginning, I picked the wallpaper and the flooring that I wanted to use, and then I threw a curveball in and tried to use the new partitions and pillars. One, because I wanted to decrease the amount of windows in the room, and two, because I wanted to minimize the space. And sort of like a design tip that I've mentioned before in another video, but I wanted to reiterate, is using a color palette to form more cohesion in your spaces. So for this room, I focused on three different colors, brown, gold, and black. And while there are some things that do go beyond that color or that color scale, it's okay um, if it's for like minor items. At least this is my opinion. Again, I'm not a professional, but this is normally the way that I build my rooms. And it's because the clothing racks were so limited in variations, so I wanted to work around those. And I figured that I would build a room with a lot of furniture with the variations using black colors, brown colors, and gold. And I feel like those three colors together do form a really elegant color palette, so it did work in my favor at the end. As for the pillars, in this room specifically, I use them as complements to the wall partitions. However, I do think that the pillars themselves can be used as dividers in between rooms. And there is a way where you can just rotate them so it looks more flush against each other instead of like individual items placed next to each other. So that's another little design tip. And now I'm just kind of building like the middle part of the room where I imagined it to be an ottoman and sort of like the place where you sit and tie your shoes or try on your shoes for the day. Everything in this room is everything that I'm trying to manifest for myself. And I really like that there is kind of like a centerpiece in the room. I think it does draw your attention towards it, but then you slowly start to realize the other details surrounding it. So I guess if we want to throw in another design tip, it would be that too, is build your space around a focal point and it would just be easier to work from that point outwards if you wanted to start like that. For me, I like to do outwards into more small details, so it really depends. When I'm outside um, on my island, like exterior builds, I try to focus on the big stuff and then work my way towards the small details. When it's interiors, it kind of works both ways, and it's also a lot easier because I'm on Harv's island.
So now I'm adding the smaller details. So because it's a closet, it makes sense if there are items left out, like socks and shoes and bags. So I added those small details and I think that it does bring a little bit of realism into the space. And I also added some shopping bags. And now I'm just placing some shoes on top of the clothing racks because again, it does bring a little bit of realism into the space. And while I'm here, I wanted to ask, what is your new favorite item in the game after the Animal Crossing New Horizons 2.0 update? I have so many to choose from, I don't really know, but I would say if I had to pick one from this singular room, it would be a very, very close tie between the chandelier and the afternoon tea set in the back. I honestly love the chandelier because I think it is super elegant and super detailed, but I love the afternoon tea set because look how the miniature cakes are. I feel like it's just so precious and they all look so delicious. And I mean, not to even mention like the food itself, the new food items in the game, they're just so amazing. Like. <laughs> I, I'm still so over the moon about this update, so yeah, let me know what your new favorite item is though. And we're done! Thank you so much for watching this video and for being here today. Let me know what you think of this build in the comments down below because this is literally like my dream walk-in closet. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for being you. I appreciate your presence here and don't forget to say hi in the comments and let me know how your day is going. And once again, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!